All right, guys, we're back. Exponential, day two. Hope to meet and talk to a bunch of other booths, a bunch of other products. And I did see Skydio here yesterday. So let's head over to their booth too. Let's get an update on Skydio. I know a lot of people have been asking about it. So let's, uh, let's see what they've been up to. Hi, uh, Jason Tillman, uh, Director of Product Marketing over here at Skydio. Um, we're a manufacturer of various drones that I'm sure you're familiar with from our earlier days within the consumer market. Uh, since then, we've actually moved on to working within the enterprise and the government section. Um, one of our big things that we pride ourselves on is actually building up from our world-class autonomy. So every single one of our drones shares the same foundation of the autonomy out there. So everything from our S2, which many of you may be very familiar with from our kind of our earlier beginnings, all the way up to the introduction of our X2, which was really kind of our foothold into like enterprise and the government, and then going all the way up to the X10, which is our newest drone. Uh, additionally, we've also moved into the space with uh, docks, so those enclosures where you can actually have the drones launch from for those more scheduled missions you want to have, and particularly in more remote areas as well. So first off, we have the S2, which many of you may be very familiar with. This is the S2 Plus, as you can tell, has the antennas here. This is really the one where um, many, particularly the consumers, were very uh, interested in. Probably our smallest drone that we have here, great for small areas, particularly uh, we're actually seeing a lot of uh, law enforcement really using this for more kind of indoor uh, use, so fantastic uh, earlier option. This is the X2. Uh, this was actually our next generation one that we actually uh, did, uh, particularly for the government um, early on, but we actually saw a significant amount of interest from enterprise as well. This one is an upgrade from the S2 Plus, but again, adds various uh, things inside here, much more for that audience there. Uh, a lot more durability, better range, and we increased the sensor packages on there as well. And this is actually the X10. The X10 actually was just announced uh, last year, last September, at our annual event called uh, Skydio Xten. So <clears throat> quite a bit of an update over the X2. So this is one super excited. I think it addresses a lot of the things, the, a lot of the input that we actually received from the market on this one. So again, focused on enterprise, government space. The areas we're really kind of focusing on right now, if we really had to think about them, utility companies, a huge market for us. When we look at public safety, so law enforcement, um, search and rescue, that sort of thing, as well as the government as well. So when we start looking like Department of Defense and such. But um, X10 is actually really uh, super excited for this one. This is actually a major upgrade in terms of the sensor packages of the gimbals that might be out there. For example, it has everything from a, a 64 megapixel narrow camera, a 50 megapixel, uh, wide, a 48 megapixel telephoto, as well as a radiometric um, tetherline flare boson plus uh, thermal camera as well. So um, two different variations of our gimbal packages, really depending if you're looking for more inspections, that's the VT300L, or more, if you want zoom, like particularly for public safety, that's the VT300Z. Uh, another thing we actually made uh, improvements here is actually the uh, amount of time you actually fly this thing for. This goes up to about 40 minutes. Additionally, you can actually launch it within about 40 seconds. So it launches faster, battery life is actually better. Other things that are really um, uh, notable on here, you can actually pack this thing in a backpack. So that's one of the things we want to make sure is that this is the one drone you can use for across all different kinds of use cases. Pack it in a little molly bag, take it wherever you want, quick, accessible, and it's just you can use it across so many different ways. Um, another major change we did on here as well is we actually have uh, ports over here for attachments. So two on the side, two on the top, and bottom, and uh, the attachments we've introduced with this one would be everything from a spotlight to one that would be a speaker and mic, so you can actually communicate and actually broadcast out. Great for like um, search and rescue. Other thing I want to kind of mention here as well is actually the Skydio dock, and this is this thing right here. So these are great for situations where you have like a consistent need for, let's say inspections, for example, in one centralized location. You can actually, this actually encompasses an X2 inside here. You can schedule it, so therefore at any schedule that you're actually looking for, you can actually have it deploy the X2, X10 flies around, does what it needs to do, capture your aerial data, comes back here, it uploads the data, charges it, and just as a safe enclosure for it to be, again, really helping you accomplish those outcomes you're looking for. Uh, yeah, feel free to stop by uh, skydio.com. We have everything there. We're actually very responsive at replying back on there. And again, always up for hearing from everyone out there about what their use cases are and how we can help. All right, guys, I'm here at Drone Rescue Systems, and this device is pretty cool. It is pretty much a parachute for your drone. You're actually able to deploy this thing uh, autonomously. You can reuse the parachute. You can actually deploy it at a pretty low altitude. 
and they have applications for a bunch of different drones. Here at the show, they're showing it with a uh, few different smaller drones as well as a couple bigger industrial drones. Uh, but talking about how simple and lightweight the installation is, this is the drone rescue system. Hey guys, Tyler here with ACSL. I'm the uh, manager of channel operations. Um, we're here showcasing our Soten drone at AUVSI Exponential. Um, super excited about this platform, bringing it to the US market. Um, swappable payloads, about a 25 minute flight time, IP43 rated. Um, like I said, really excited to get it into the US market. Um, we've got our standard camera is a 20 megapixel mechanical shutter. Um, we've got a thermal payload, a zoom payload, and a multispectral as well. So fits into a lot of different markets. Um, and uh, yeah, really excited to introduce it to the US market. Fully NDA compliant. Um, we've got a standard controller and a smart controller option as well. So yeah, the Soten drone has about a 25 minute flight time, uh, two and a half mile range, again, depending on the area that you're flying in. Um, and for more information, check us out at acsl-usa.com. And uh, we'd love to get you set up with a demo and uh, let you check it out more. All right, roaming the floor. And man, every booth just has unique and kind of custom built drones. There's a bunch of cargo ones. If you wanted to do some shipping or delivery, they have a bunch of sample ones here as well. Even some underwater photography drones are on display. And a couple other just unique builds that I've never seen before, as well as security drones. There's a bunch that are here for security, surveillance, and surveying and infrastructure as well. This one is from the company Skyfish. And even here in the very back, there is a whole podcast going on live at the show. Hey, I'm Jacob Andrews, the founder and CEO of Ivy Robotics. Today we have our first drone product develop air uh, here. We're selling it primarily into high schools and colleges, getting students not just familiar with learning how to operate a drone, taking photos and videos with them, but learning how to build payloads for them, writing software for them, and making drones easier to use for the everyday person so we can all come to use drones as often as we use cars and computers today. Yeah, so some of the payloads that we have with Develop Air are created by high school students that work with us already. For example, we uh, built this claw machine uh, mod kit for Develop Air, and this was was actually led by a high school student working with us. And while this is a kind of a juvenile application, so to speak, uh, this is the same sort of technology used for delivery drones already being used today to lower down payloads and pick them back up. And so uh, this is an example of uh, how students can come in, learn with Develop Air, and also have fun while doing it. Like we were able to put on the world's largest claw machine event. So uh, if you want to check that out, we have a YouTube channel as well, iView Robotics. Uh, you could also find us online at our website, iviewrobotics.com and we'll love to talk to you more about introducing Develop Air and the future of drones into a school near you. I'm Dennis Courtney, I'm the CEO of Streamworks. At Streamworks, our go-to initiative is Robot Drone League. So that's what we have up here. Uh, Robot Drone League is a, an, an initiative that challenges K-12 students to build, design, and function their own robot in a 10-minute uh, competition that is the first minute being autonomous, followed by a nine minute uh, period of teleop performance. And so uh, this year we're celebrating the Appalachian uh, Mountains and the mining industry. And then also taking a look at how can we incorporate cross-curricular subjects in both uh, robots and drones in uh, gamification and the STEM initiative by also bringing in biology. Some of the object objectives in the mission of Streamworks and Robot Drone League is to teach kids coding. So we want to get all the kids uh, learning programming language. We start with very simple block coding all the way up to more advanced Java or C. Here we have uh, the RoboMaster um, EP Core, which is available at our Robo uh, RDL, RDL store. If you'd like for more information, please reach out to me at dcourtney at streamworkseducation.org. And that's about it for me, day two of Exponential. So hopefully you guys got some value from it. And if you did, a big like would be much appreciated. This is Alton Stasio. See you guys in the next one. Take care.